Well, hello everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? I should say, how are you girls doing tonight? Because it's probably not any, there are probably not any guys watching right now, but um, I just always say guys. I don't know why. It's just a, a term, I guess, that we use um, here in Virginia or in the South. I don't know. But I hope you guys are doing awesome tonight. Um, I just made this card this afternoon and I wanted to just do a quick video to show you how I did it. And she did some with the curvy um, dies and then she did some that were just cut like this. And so when I saw her cards, I kind of um, into ideas that um, I could use to make some of my own cards. So um, you can check out her video at pattystamps.com. And um, I just wanna show you up close, I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle sparkle on here. I did some shimmer spray, which is my favorite thing to do on all my cards, just to give them a little sparkle. So <clears throat> let me get my whoops, let me get my computer lined up with my video, and hopefully I'll be able to see comments today because I couldn't the other day. So give me just one second, and then we'll get started. Okay. Okay. All right, should be good to go. All right, so um, let me show you exactly what we're using today. We're doing the um, Sand and Sea Sweet. So this is on page 40 and 41 and 42 of the Spring Mini Catalog or the January to June Mini Catalog. I, I just call it Spring Mini because that's what it's always been or Occasions Mini. Um, we're going to be using almost all the products in here. So we're using the stamp set and the dies, the embossing folder, the opal rounds, and the paper, the sand and sea designer paper. And also, let me show you what the stamp set looks like, in case you haven't seen it yet. It's one of my favorite favorites. So this is the stamp set, and the dies match exactly um, to the embossing folder. So I'm going to be using that today. So let's get started with everything you need. So first, we're gonna start with a piece of very vanilla, five and a half by eight and a half, and I've already folded it in half. A piece of five and a half by four and a quarter, shimmery white, or a shimmer, I don't know if it's shimmery or shim, shimmer white, I don't know, I can't remember. That's one of those, sand and sea designer paper. So this is the paper from that suite, and then just a scrap of white um, cardstock. So that's all you need, plus the opal rounds. We're using a few of those. All right, so let's get started. Let me just peel these off. Hey, Betty. All right. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I was smelling some perfume a little while ago and I put it up to my nose and it like got on my nose. So that's all I can smell right now is this perfume. And it's making me wanna sneeze. All right, so I went ahead and cut this piece right here to get that split and I got this so I just took it and cut it diagonally and I'm going to show you how I did that real quick so I've got my paper cutter and I always do my paper cutter I guess upside down from the way most people do theirs because I like to have my ruler on the right hand side so I do it upside down so what I did and hopefully this is in the screen um, I kind of messed around with it and, and did different cuts until I got one that I liked and I liked it going up and I wanted it to have about an inch right there and then, you know, the rest of it down here. So I played around with it and I came up with basically if I put a dot right here, right after the two inch mark and I mean not inch, centimeters. No, that is an inch. Well, let's see, that would be one inch, so that's about a half an inch. So it's right after that number two right there. And then where the three is right here, that's three centimeters. So I kind of put the paper, whoops, this way. So I put it at the two dot and then at the three dot. So it's like right on those two dots. And that's where I lined it up to cut it because I did it the first time and it came out perfect. And then I did a couple more. I'm like, okay, these are totally different than the first one I did. So then I sat there and measured the first one again so I could get it exactly the way I wanted it. So it comes out like that, okay? So that's what we're gonna use. And so this one's gonna go, so when you separate it, whoops, that's the wrong sheet. So when you separate it, it comes out like that. So you have that middle part open. 
and then the words go in there. All right, so also what I did ahead of time is the embossing and die cutting. So we'll set that aside for just a minute. So you need your shimmery white or shimmer white cardstock. You run it through the embossing folder, which, oh, hey, everybody's on here. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Deborah. All right, so we've got the embossing folder. So you put this in here, like so. Run it through the um, embossing machine. And then it comes out like this. And then after you do the embossing folder, or you could do it either way. It doesn't matter which one you do first. I, I always emboss first and then do the die cutting. Then you line it up and it lines up perfectly with the emboss part. And then I just always put a piece of washi tape to hold it in place, run it through the machine. And then after you run it through the machine, you get this one, which is already cut out for you. So it makes it super easy because now all you have to do is stamp. And I've tried it both ways, like stamping first, then doing the cutting and um, or cutting and then stamping, then doing the embossing. And for some reason, I think it's easier to do all this first, then stamp it. And I know that doesn't make sense, but for me, it's just easier to see it. So that's what I do. All right, so we're gonna stamp on this and I'm gonna use Night of Navy. And I'm gonna start with the biggest one. I don't know what this is called, like the snail shell or something, I don't know. All right, so get it good and inked up and then just line it up and it's easier if you can put it right under your nose, straight up. <laughs> But if you're doing a video, it's kind of hard to put it right up under you because then nobody can see what you're doing. So I'm going to try and line this up the best that I can without having it right underneath me. And hopefully it'll come out good. <laughs> I didn't bring a backup one, so <laughs> I just thought about that. I should have brought a backup one that was already done. All right, that came out pretty good. All right, so next one we're going to do is the big one. And this is the conch shell. So that goes up here in the top. So let's line that one up. And it really doesn't matter if you're a little bit off, you're gonna fussy cut it anyway, so it really doesn't matter if it's a little bit off. So give that a good press. And these are photopolymer stamps, so you really wanna make sure you've got a cushion under here. A lot of times I'll use a paper piercing mat, but I have a really giant thick pad of paper, so that works just as well. And then we're gonna do this one, which is like a baby conch shell and I'm not getting inked up in the middle all right so this one's gonna go right here and boom hopefully I always like to press it just for a minute so just to make sure the ink gets good good on there um, and then I've got this little starfish this one I'm gonna do on the scrap paper and just like that and last, oh, well, that's it. That's all for the shells right there. And the Night of Navy. All right, now we're gonna color them. And I colored these a couple different ways to see how I liked it. First, I did the blender pen, which gave it a really, really pretty look. I wish I had brought that in here with me, but then I decided to use the, um, the Stampin' Blends. So I'm gonna use the dark, um, what is this, pool party? Yeah, dark pool party first. And I'm just going to go over um, some of these darker areas in here real quick. I'm not doing any like fancy coloring or anything. And I'm going to leave a lot of it white. But it's just going to give it a really pretty um, look. And I saw another card on online. I can't remember who did it. She did one kind of similar um, with these colors. And I thought it was so pretty. All right, so then we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go through with all the dark first and then I'm gonna come back and do the lighter one. So I'm just putting a little bit of this color in there. And really no rhyme or reason. I'm kind of just going over the darker areas. All right, so that's kind of what it looks like right now. See, it's just kind of scribbled on there, not too, not too much. Then I'm gonna take the light pool party and go back over that and color in a little bit more, not all of it, because I wanna leave some parts white. 
but just add a little bit more color and it dries lighter whenever using these blends they always dry lighter you know if you think it's too dark just wait a few minutes and it'll dry so just kind of squiggle it on here willy-nilly and then you get this look and we're almost done then we're going to cut them out Hope you guys are having a great day. I had a great day because I was off work today, which always makes things better. All right, let me just put a little bit more color. Most of you guys know if you watch my videos, I work at an urgent care center and we've been crazy busy lately because of all this stuff going on with the COVID. But hopefully things are gonna lighten up soon. Now that the vaccine's out, um, I hope a lot of people get it and we can start having less cases. <laughs> my, my paper always goes crooked. I don't know what it is. Every day I do a video, it gets crooked. All right, so now we're going to cut these out. And like I said, you're fussy cutting. So see how I, I went just a little bit over so it's not exactly on the right spot? That's okay. Because you're going to cut it out and leave a little bit of a white edge. And you can just cut right around it. And nobody will ever know. So you don't have to be perfect with these things. And of course I am definitely not perfect. So that's a good thing. You can always fix stuff when you're stamping. And if it's, if it's not fixable, just do it again. You always got more paper or the other side of the paper. All right, so there's that one. And then let me just do the other ones real quick. I probably should have done these ahead of time, I know. <laughs> And we're almost done. It was cold out today. I am already ready for spring. I am not a cold weather person. I don't even like to wear a coat. So even if it's freezing cold outside, I'll just wear like a little light jacket and freeze to death. Because I just hate wearing a coat. I hate being in the car and like all bunched up and you you can't hardly get your seatbelt on because you got the big old coat on then you get the heat on in the car then you're hot and you can't take your coat off because you're driving do y'all have or have that <laughs> or am i the only one who's like <laughs> always hot <laughs> all right so there we go we've got our three shells oops i don't want to throw all that away but i'll just put it on the side here let me get all my scraps out okay so th oh you know what i forgot to color this one Hold on, let me do this real quick. So just put a little bit all over and then take the lighter one. And kind of fill it in. And if you want to, what's kind of pretty, let me just show you um, on this, oh, I didn't stamp this one. Let me just show you well, I don't want to get this dirty. If you take this and, and use your blender pen, it'll blend that darker blue in there and give it a little bit of the navy in there too, which I think is really pretty. Let me see if it works on this one better. See how that darker color comes through? I think that's really pretty. It works really well on this big one because there's a lot of the ink in there. And I'll hold it up so you can kind of see it. See how it's got the different shades of the dark, the blue now in there? And you can just kind of rub that and it'll come out. And give you a little bit of the navy along with that pool party. So you can kind of do that just to give it a little bit of a different look. All right, so then I gotta cut this one out real quick. This one has a die, but I didn't bring the die cutting machine with me, so it's just easy to fussy cut it real quick and if you don't have these scissors the paper snips they are so great for cutting things out they're so sharp and the key to cutting things is is you basically hold things with your left hand hold the scissors in your right hand unless you're left-handed then I guess you have to do it opposite 
but you move the thing, not the scissors. So the scissors stay basically in the same spot and you're basically moving the paper. And then you just kind of keep twisting the paper around as you go. All right, so we're gonna um, stamp. Oh, one more thing I gotta do here is the birds. And the birds are in the memento black and they go right on the top part. When I did this card at first, I didn't have anything stamped on the top and I was like, it's really missing something. And I kept thinking, what could I put up there? And then it kind of hit me. Let's do some birds. Oops. Oh, that's the back of the paper. All right, so there's the birds. All right, now we're gonna put it together. So this just goes on the top with some glue of your choice. I just like this Tombow glue. So that goes on the top. And the good thing about this, I forgot to mention, you're using four by four squares. So if you have a piece of 12 by 12, you can get nine pieces, make nine cards out of it. Instead of usually you can only get six. So it gives you three extra cards. So that's a really good um, tip, especially if you're a demonstrator and you're doing classes and you have to have multiple sets. Usually I have to buy like, you know, three or four packs of stuff just to get enough for my classes, which right now I'm not doing classes because of COVID, but hopefully next month we'll be able to get back. All right, so there we go so far. Then we're just gonna put this one down with glue, flat. And I'm just gonna put it kind of on this side, maybe just a little bit above that line right there. Cause I gotta have enough room to do my little starfish down here. I just realized I'm not even using this stamp. I don't know why I colored that. <laughs> oh well, I'll save it for another card. <laughs> All right, so then these two I did with dimensionals. I keep going crooked. I need something just to hold this down flat because I always move it. And I know I see other people doing videos and theirs doesn't move, so I don't know why mine is so slippery. If, unless it's my desk is kind of slippery. Okay, all right, so then let's put these down. We're just gonna put this kind of down on the side and then this one out in front. Let me put a little bit over. All right, so there's our shells. Now we have to do the words. Now, normally I do the words before I glue stuff down, but it's kind of hard for this paper because you don't know where to put it. I mean, I guess I could have like set the paper there and done it, but <gasps> I forgot to bring the words in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe I forgot the words. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to improvise because I don't have any words here. So pretend I'm stamping the words right here. <laughs> I'll have to do them after. All right, I can't believe I did that. It's too far to go run and get them too. All right, so these shells go on either side of where the words are gonna go. And I meant to stamp that off, dang it too dark okay so your words are gonna go right here and I'm sorry I forgot them I'm gonna have to just leave some in here my stamp room is in the dining room and this is my office which is a bedroom so I have it set up to videotape in here and I always have to bring everything in here with me and I just sometimes forget stuff so we're just gonna leave it like that <laughs> so pretend there's um, words there <laughs> and then I used these um, opal rounds and I used the, uh, let's see, Light Misty Moonlight. So I'm gonna color some of them. I've already really colored these, but I'll just show you. You just take your um, Stampin' Blend, you can color it whatever color you want. And then the other one I used was uh, Light Shaded Spruce. Why did I do that? I thought it was, okay, I thought it was Bermuda Bay, but it'll work, they're close enough. So, they're almost, they look exactly the same. I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, so pretend that's Bermuda Bay. <laughs> you guys don't leave comments. <laughs> this girl's such a ditch. She brought the wrong color and forgot the stamp. <laughs> don't give me a thumbs down. <laughs> okay, so then you've got your little um, beads on here or pearls or opals. Gosh, now I'm just getting all flustered. All right, so we're going to get these out and just put a couple around the card. And for some reason, I've always been told that it's good to put things in odd numbers, so we're doing three. So we'll put one up here. And then the last thing I did was spritz it with the shimmer spray. 
So I've got my shimmer spray, and um, if you watch my videos, you know I always use this stuff. So it's 70% um, alcohol and the champagne shimmer paint, and you just mix it about almost all the way full with um, the alcohol, and then just pour in about maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of the shimmer spray, and then you just squirt it on here. And it just gives it a really pretty shimmer. And when you're finished with the words, you have this. So pretend I'd already stamped those words on there. <laughs> so there you go. I hope you liked this card. And forgive me for forgetting stuff. I am human and I'm not perfect. So um, hopefully you guys can identify with that. Because <laughs> I'm not one of those people that has everything scripted and, and can do a video perfectly yet. So maybe one day I'll be like that. I don't know. That's... That's what I hope to do one day, get better at these. But for now, you'll just have to live with my imperfections. So thank you guys for watching and joining me. I know Deborah says I'm not a coat person either. I know, I just can't stand wearing coats. All right, so thank you guys for joining me today. And if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, please leave me a comment. Let, let me know what you think and make sure it's a nice one. Because if you don't have something nice to say, please don't say anything at all. And leave me a thumbs up if you love it. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please hit the bell, subscribe, and um, make sure you hit the one that um, looks like it's ringing so that you get notified every time I do a video. And um, let's see, I think that's it. You guys have a great night, and thanks for joining me. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. See you later.